In OpenVSP, the mass properties analysis is a way to capture the total mass, the center of gravity, and the moments of inertia of a set or an entire model in your workspace. Now, we are not going to go back and cover in detail things like your volumetric density, your thin shell mass per area, your priority, but we're going to cover it just as a brief overview. All of that material was covered in detail under the general components subject in chapter one, and I'll provide links to that information. As a quick review, the volumetric density is here under mass properties in the general tab for most components. You can turn on or off the mass per area, and priority basically tells mass properties which component should override the volume if it's internal. So for example, transport fuse is on our base level of zero, Wing has a priority of one, which means the wing density will override the internal volume of the fuselage, and the fuel tanks have a priority of two, meaning that those will override the priority of the wing. So when mass properties comes and slices all this stuff up, what you'll see is that each of these are included as internal components. To find the mass properties analysis, it's right here in the analysis drop-down menu, and it will bring up this window where you have control over the number of slices that will effectively always be in the X direction and will always encompass the bounding box around everything in your set. You can choose the set that you wish to include uh, here in the drop down menu. And if you want, you can choose this browse button and pick a custom file name or a custom location for where it writes this file out, just like with most other output files for analyses. And you can turn on a flag whether or not to include the center of mass. Right now you can see it's highlighted here as zero at the origin because it hasn't run yet. But let's go ahead and compute on just the outer mold line. So excluding the seats and the fuel tanks and the APUs and everything else in this transport aircraft. So now if we zoom in a bit, you can see that the new CG has been drawn here. It sliced and did the analysis on the aircraft itself. And we have our mass, our center of gravity, our moments of inertia, etc. These are all totals. So that's a bit of an introduction to mass properties. In subsequent videos, we'll go a bit further into the execution itself and look at how including different components will change how your result comes out. And we'll even dive a little bit into the result file just to give you an overview of what the breakdown looks like.